So in this building in 1486, Christopher Columbus asked Isabel, the Queen of Spain, for a whole bunch of cash to undertake a rather historic voyage. And in the same building a few years earlier, this is where Catherine of Aragon was born, the woman who married and then was divorced by Henry VIII, which led to England completely splitting from the Catholic Church. But all of this is just the beginning. So, Yoli, where are we? <laughs> we are in Alcalá de Henares, a town famous for its history and its food. And I can't wait to see and eat it all. <laughs> are you going to eat the town? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You may have never heard of Alcalá de Henares, just 30 minutes by car from Madrid, but this low-key student town of 200,000 souls is a treasure trove of food and history. Founded by the Romans, powerful in the Middle Ages, it's also the birthplace of one of history's most famous writers. Plus, it's legendary in these parts for its vibrant, delicious tapas scene. I'll be sure to put transport information in the description below because I highly recommend this as a day trip from Madrid. And when I think of Alcalá de Henares, I think of this street, the Calle Mayor, which today is still the, the, the center, the commercial center, full of hustle and bustle, but it feels like a medieval street. And well, that's because it is. You see, the street dates back to the 12th century, and it was built where the old Jewish quarter was here in Alcalá, and it actually follows, the Calle Mayor follows the old Roman road, which ran right through here. And like every kid uh, from Madrid, I came here on a school trip and I actually remember that uh, these columns here, there's like three or four, uh, are original 15th century. So how about that? Wow, well, they're still that holding trip. up that, the building, right? There you go. Jeez, don't, lean on, it, don't lean on it too hard. <laughs> that trip was worth it. Yeah, right. So while Alcalá de Henares is a student town, it's not any old student town. It's one with a hell of a lot of history. I'll tell you what, Yoli. Yeah? It's not quite Auckland University where I went. <laughs> <laughs> so this university was founded in 1499, making it one of the oldest in the world. And here in this room is where a lot of the official acts used to take place, where the students would defend their thesis in Latin. And nowadays it's where they hold the Spanish-speaking world's most important literature prize, the, the Premio de Cervantes. And look behind me at the 16th century uh, wooden ceiling, Mudejar style. It's beautiful. Do you think they give prizes for YouTubers here, Yoli? <laughs> Spain, the Spanish-speaking world's most important YouTuber? I hope they do one day. <laughs> so I'd like to thank uh, my beloved husband, James Blake, uh, and all of you guys for watching our videos for years and years, uh, making this day possible. Thank you. And in the chapel alongside is buried the founder of the university, Cardenal Cisneros. Now, he was a pretty stern guy, really religious, like sleeping on the bare floor, hair shirts, constantly fasting, you know, a real riot. But as well as being a real laugh, he was also a very powerful man. For example, he was confessor to Queen Isabel. And just after he took over being confessor, she issued the Alhambra decree, which expelled all the Jews from Spain, presumably or possibly under his influence. And later, he forced a lot of conversions of, of Muslim Spaniards, of Moors, to Christianity, which led to the Moorish revolts and finally led to the expulsion of the Moors from Spain. And another beautiful ceiling. Yoli, yeah. where do they get these ceilings? God, I don't know, Ikea? But yeah. like, I really want them like for the house. If that was Ikea, what would it be called? It's Ikea name. Stunken. Yeah, there you go. And in 1509, a man would come from afar to work here at the university. And he was in fact, the grandfather of Alcalá de Henares, most famous son. Welcome to the home of Miguel de Cervantes, author of Don Quixote and many say creator of the modern novel. The actual building he was born in long fell into disrepair. So this is a faithful reconstruction with period furniture, which means it gives a fascinating insight into what Cervantes family and any middle-class Castilian family would have lived like in the 1500s. So perhaps baby Miguel de Cervantes would have slept in one of these cots, yeah? Perhaps. Hey, baby Miguel. The home revolves around the central courtyard, a feature inherited from the Romans and Moors. So he was born in 1547, and we know that because the baptismal records in the local church were kept. 
And during the civil war, when there was the risk of losing the baptismal records, the priest gave them to, to a, local, uh, a local man and the local man hid them in a well. And that's how we know they survived being hidden in a well to know the year he was born. Not this well, uh, obviously, or not obviously, but a well. And Cervantes' father was a physician and this rather arresting chair would have been for bloodletting, a common but misguided cure-all practice back then. Meanwhile, in the ladies' room, the woman would sit on cushions and rugs, again, revealing the strong Moorish influence in medieval Castilian lifestyle. And yes, they even had toilets. Sort of. All right, Nina. Right. Has all this history worked up a hunger? I'll tell you what, I know all about the history. Let's know all about the food. I have designed a little tapas tour mm. that I think uh, we can enjoy together. Feeling, it, feeling like this is an awkward take, so let's go and eat. Must be the hunger. <laughs> let's right, go. Let's go. I'll lead. You lead. Oh, let's just go. No, no. God, cut. <laughs> Right at the bar, just where you like it. Elbow on the bar. <laughs> so how does this place work, Yali? So you walk in. Yeah, just hang on, the, did we the, get that right? Yeah, just the way we did, we walk in. <laughs> Step <and> one. <laughs> then you get a lovely place at the bar. Yeah. And you order a drink and it will come with a tapa that you can actually choose. You order a drink and you can choose any of these things, right? Yeah. Okay, so what do we got? Some of the highlights. Chipirones, like squid, chistorra, Lomo, pork loin, and garlic, salmon. Wow, I mean, it's pretty good, huh? That works. Croquetas. Let's get it all. But that means we need to drink a lot to get all of those. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. That's old James and Yali. New James <laughs> and Yali is very restrained. Alcalá may not be Spain's most famous gastro center, but it's well known in this part for its vibrant tapa scene, where you often get a hearty tapa included with your drink. This bar, El Indalo, is a favorite. And for 1 p.m. on a Thursday, it's doing a roaring trade with the locals. It's not cider. <laughs> Salud. And it's good to be back in action. It's been a while that we've had a sort of a travel video. Yeah, it's been a while. Video. It's been a lot of um, videos at home and it was about time to get out on the road again. Yeah. Ay, gracias. Gracias. Dolly. So what have you got, Yoli? I got uh, potato chips. Yeah. <laughs> French fries. <laughs> <laughs> a Spanish classic. With a couple of fried eggs on top and then these lovely, what is it, baby eels? Fake baby eels. Fake. Baby eels. Angulas are the real ones, they're very expensive. Yeah, uh -huh. These are gulas, these this are is, very this cheap. Is, this is big in Spain, my yeah, God. You, yeah. You'll see it a lot when you come. It's like Spain's version of crab. Yeah. With a K. Mm. Very delicious. Yeah, well fried that egg. <laughs> no, the fake baby eels are delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important to do the combo right, huh? Yeah. Get some egg, get some eel, and get some fried egg. Fake eel, oh. fake eel. Real egg, fake eel. Are the potatoes real? What do you think? They are. Is it a real potato? They're yeah. lovely, actually. Yeah. I'm enjoying this. You are? Mm -hmm. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. You're good. We're all good. Yeah, good. We're good. Yoli? So I got a, a brochette de solo mio y verduras. So like a Ole. pork. Simple. You get, you get this simple. A pork skewer. I got the fries as well, which is a local delicacy. <laughs> let me let me try. Good for my cholesterol. <laughs> Pretty yummy. I mean, it's a free tapa. It's included. I don't know what the drinks cost, but a little more. A little more, of course. Three sixty. So you're not like it's not free. Normally this would be, you know, maybe two eighty or something like not that. Not anymore, my no? love. Oh uh, really? You don't you don't go out enough, obviously, in Madrid. How much would this cost in Madrid? No, like three forty probably. Our first stop was just an amuse bouche, if you'll pardon my French. Hasta luego. Gracias. But let's see what a fancy tapas spa has to offer in Alcala. Next up, we hit Taberna Siete, which has a classier reputation. Very stylish. And decor. I think I'm dressed down. Yoli, I don't know how it works here, if there's a free tapa or if it's... I need to know. Yeah. How can I order? Yeah, how can you strategize your tapa exactly. plan? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very hard. No? It must be tough living in Alcala. Oof. I mean, can you believe it? You know, depending on where you're going, you're going to get free food or not or what. <laughs> so given we don't know the strategy here, I think we should just get the drink, see what happens, because maybe we can get a free tapa and then order food if we didn't get the free tapa. Which is often a good strategy. In general, yeah. yeah. Always apply that. Are these real? 
I think so. Are ah, they? they actually are. Yeah. yeah, that's classy. Good on them. Yeah, exactly. Gracias. <laughs> Menu is classier. Cuando puedas una copita de Rioja, porfa. Muy bien. Y una cero cero de cerveza. ¿Tienes? Sí, tengo de barril cero cero dos cosas. Sí, what happens? No, oh, oh, I feel oh, nervous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> feel very nervous. <laughs> The way he poured that wine was much classier than the other place. It was a yeah. classy pour. I don't yeah. think we're getting the free tapas. No, I don't think there's a lot of free <laughs> stuff in this bar. <laughs> salud. Hey, salud. Long time no see. Yeah, hey. You come here often? You come to Alcalá de Henares often? Every day. Yeah. Muchas gracias. And just when we thought. Yeah. That was it. I would say that that's a pretty standard Madrid-style tapa, that oh, little la pinch la. of the tortilla, no? You seem to have forgotten, my love. Yeah. Um, you usually just get a few olives or like potato chips, right, you say? Okay, it's true, it's pretty yeah. good. Oi, look at that. Tortilla de patata to the power. Nice and gooey. Lovely. Flash. Not reheated in the microwave, please. Stop. High five to that. Yeah, Praise stop me. doing that. Yeah. Gracias. Nena. Yeah. Mm. Classy, huh? Classy. Basil and onion and yeah. tomato, full tomato. Very bien. Muchas gracias. Que no me la pinta. We have a whole bunch of tomatoes. Sí. <laughs> yeah. And onion and Looks basil incredible. leaves. There's oh. a whole big tomato on the bottom. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, should I do a combo? Yeah. Be, be brave. Yeah. You're feeling it? We do have amazing tomatoes and the lovely olive oil. Okay, time for the bravas. I kind of love a brava tasting because you never quite know what you're going to get. What mm. is their interpretation of this classic? Yeah. Color Spanish usually dish. doesn't say much. Color is true. Color is not an indicator. Well, you know? to you at least. Yeah. Color blind. Color blind is an indicator of nothing in life. <laughs> mm. Got some heat, which finally, I'm sick of bravas that don't have heat. Mm. It's like a bit of a tomato y vibe on there. Uh -huh. It's yummy. It's a good brava sauce. There's a little bit of sriracha in there, which is Epa. a recent trend we're seeing, but I quite like that. Hasta luego. Muy rico. Que vaya bien. Hasta luego. Not bad. Hasta luego. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you for taking me to this uh, romantic place. In well, next, Yoli, on this little tapas tour in Alcalá, mm -hmm. I have a place that's famous for one dish. <gasps> and places one that? that are famous for one dish are always famous for one particular dish. Mm -hmm. Similar to a place in Madrid. All right, let's go. <gasps> so what do you think this dish is, this famous dish? Well, you walk along this beautiful medieval street with, you know, Ro follows the Roman road. So inspiring. Uh, I was thinking uh, garlic shrimp, maybe? Gambas al ajillo? No. Potato omelette? No. Is it vegetarian? Ah, oh, okay, so it's me. Okay. Uh, it's not me. All right, let's go. It's not far. Oh, no. This bar has its own newspaper, so, you know. They're pretty big. Yeah. Oy, that looks yummy. Kind of like a vinegary potato jobby. Mm -hmm. Garlicky, vinegary. Yum. Oh man, garlicky, very garlicky, very parsley e potatoes. Mm. Is it parsley e e e to you? Parsley e. <laughs> you put an extra e. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You noticed it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tasted it. Yeah. <laughs> Push the boat out with my sparkling water. Apart from being a lovely newspaper. <laughs> today's news. It's the menu. the menu. I didn't realize. I thought it was like a he sort said, of. He said it was the menu. Ah, I missed that. Yeah, and that's what we're getting, guys. Don't, uh, let, don't let Yoli see. You know now, but I don't. Gracias. Gracias. Wow. Mushrooms, baby. Super mushrooms. Super mushrooms. They're pretty big. They're big. Yeah. And garlicky, for yeah. what I can see. Very garlicky mushrooms. Nice. Super garlicky, just done on the grill. Simple mushroom. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good. They're beefy mushrooms. It's yummy. I tell you what, if you like mushrooms, this is great. And if you hate mushrooms, this would be really, really terrible to eat. <laughs> oh, I see. You're not even taking the full mushroom. Well, you always have to be cautious. Yeah. You don't want to be hit by a whole mushroom mud. <laughs> mushroom madness. <laughs> 
be honest, huh? If you hate it, just say it. Go on. And like James said, if you hate mushrooms, you will hate this. <laughs> That is the only way we're going to talk about food from now on. <laughs> Instead of saying you will like it, we'll say, if you hate X, you will hate this. <laughs> That's going to be the whole idea of the whole channel from now on. That's it. That's it, guys. We're done. <laughs> and I've got one more spot to take Yoli. I think it might be worth it. All right, let's go. Okay, yeah. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Nena, okay. Free tapa. This is, you know. Free tapa. Wow. I mean, nice presentation. Look at that. I don't think that's for the camera. Lovely. I got my Your anchovy, anchovy and tomato yeah. tapa. So we were able to choose our free tapa here. She reeled off a list. It was verbal. So if your Spanish is a bit hazy, then it's going to be a, a bit of a roller coaster. But that's <laughs> what it's all about. Um, this place is cool. Just. Out of the tourist center, it's a chili pepper hot. Ah, yeah, yeah. chili pepper's hot. So for all those who love tribe, tribe. Remember, if you hate this, if you hate delicious tribe, you're gonna hate this. Ole. <laughs> I haven't had chaos this winter. Yeah, me neither. Mm, yeah. If you hate organ meats, you're gonna hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if anchovy haters are gonna hate this. A bit weird to chase tripe yes. with anchovy. I'm getting a bit of a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Hmm. I mean, look, it's a simple thing like you would have at home, but just kind of down home, right? And I just love the two guys sitting at the bar behind. You know, this is the kind of place where you could just come here and, I don't know, while away the afternoon. Very cool. Are we gonna do that? Just um... We're just gonna sit and watch TV now for three yeah. hours and film it so you guys can watch that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a new trend. Calamari. Look at that. Uh, patas, right? Patas. So the legs, the legs, tiki, tiki, the legs. Tiki, 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 tiki. With alioli, lemon, they look good. Oh, right, here we go. Get in there. Yeah. Dipping in the alioli. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't know. <laughs> Everything is falling apart. Now, if you hate slightly chewy calamari, you're gonna hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a chew there, but uh, yeah. a nice crunch. Despite a little bit of chew here, I would come back and be willing to try a few more things on, on, on the menu here. I, can, I like the vibe of this place. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to explore some other day trips from Madrid, we have a playlist with a few videos. It's appearing somewhere over James's face right now. Check them out. See, See you, you next there. time. Ciao.